Hi, I'm Alyssa and welcome to Art This Week. On this week's episode, we continue our coverage of the Modern's exhibition, Mexico Inside Out, Themes in Art Since 1990. Today, we speak with the artist, Gabriel Curry, about his work in the exhibition. Now for Art This Week. We are here with Gabriel Curi um, as a part of the Mexico Inside Out show at the Modern Art Museum in Fort Worth. Uh, thank you for joining me today, Gabriel. Um, so we're standing in front of, what are we standing in front of right now? Complementary cornice and intervals. Okay, great. And so this is a, a sculptural installation that you created in 2010. Can you talk a little bit about mm. the process of gathering these materials? Yeah and how they came together. I would begin by calling it just a sculpture. Um, ah. You know, somehow it, uh, it could be seen or assessed in, in, you know, in, in, in rather classical terms. You know, you have marble and consumer articles. Mm -hmm. And also, you know, the forces that keep, keep it upright and keep it together are also very, very basic sculptural principles. You know, it's, it's a stack of marble slabs leaning against the wall, you know, um, giving these very narrow um, ledge as a result. And then, you know, I positioned in, you know, in a more light gesture, I positioned all these courtesy shampoo bottles that, um, well, cosmetic bottles that I got while I, while I was traveling in different hotels. And uh, I guess the piece is very self-explanatory in just, uh, you know, the, the, the itemization of, of the materials. You have the marble slabs and the uh, and these uh, consumer articles that are given away, let's say, but not really when you stay in hotels. So I'm interested in this kind of a economy of supposed gratuity and supposed generosity, and how you know, and how you know the consumer pays for them, and then takes them back home, and they find a funny little nook in in people's houses, and and to me that that's. Uh, that's basically the sculpture of every day, you know, how uh, I as a person or, you know, other people, when, 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 I, when I observe, uh, deal with uh, the objects and the space around and, uh, the, and also the situations created by um, and with the objects that surround us. So this piece, you know, it pretty much, it's commentary on that. So you use found materials a lot in your work? Um, as sort of a critique or a comment on consumerism? I use fun, ma fun materials, yes. Uh, often they are you know, quite modest and uh, precarious and often fragile as well. And I also use fabri uh, you know, fabricated, more uh, elaborate. Like uh, these, these countertops yes, are fabricated? Yes, sure. But I try not to make a distinction, okay. like a categoric distinction between one and the other. Um, what draws you to fan ma using fan materials in your work? Well, they come to me. Yeah. So. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm open. My, my, my practice is open to, to, to the incident and when they come to me and they feel that they mean something and I could kind of give them back, turned into an artwork, then I do. Yeah. So I'm not a, <clears throat> an obsessive collector or an everythingist that, you know, everything and anything goes. I am very rigorous when it comes to my choices, but of course I try to remain open, so to really be able to incorporate my life as it happens into, into my, my practice. Can you talk a little bit about the choices in installation in various spaces and how the, like, say, for the other piece that we're going <coughs> to look at, uh -huh. um, how it was installed differently in another, mm -hmm. in, like in the Venice Biennale, it was installed mm -hmm. on the wall, mm -hmm. and here it's installed on the floor, mm -hmm. and how the difference in well, space. We are looking at a, at, a, at a variation. In fact, they are two different works. Mm -hmm. But sure enough, um, you know, they look close enough because they are uh, they're a very simple gesture and a very, very basic principle. It's just, you know, the tension created by the proximity of two rocks and then these three uh, bold socks, um, pairs of socks uh, stuffed in between. Um, a lot of my works are very simple when it comes to how they come together. And I know that they can travel, you know, on their own and they can be installed without me having to be there. There are other works that I have to be there and it's extremely important that I do the last little. Um, so 
in that sense, I try to remain open as well. Well, so yeah. something that may or may not be present in mm -hmm. your work is like the dichotomies between like hard and soft, mediated uh -huh. and natural, uh -huh. found and appropriated. Uh -huh. I mean, do you see the, those dichotomies in your work? Are they intentional? Very much so. Very what much are so. your interests in yeah, this? Yeah, often in, in conversation I say, you know, I studied in Goldsmiths after all. When, when yeah, it was yeah. all, it was <laughs> okay. all uh, okay. like French uh, post-structuralism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, it was all about dialectics and, yeah. uh, you know, that's like the easy answer. But, um, yeah. but yes, I think my work very much happens in the marriage of the unequal somehow. You know, like hard and soft or uh, consumer and, um, you know, natural. That's, you know, something we could really go into a long discussion, but... Uh, um, so are you searching for harmony within these, like, yes, oppositions? Yes, exactly. Okay. Exactly. Because it's really that, you know, that aspect about life that, that, you know, stands out for me. It's like seeing something unusual in, you know, or unexpected. Mm -hmm. And then that becomes, you know, it tells you something. So in a sense, I would like to be able to recreate that with my work, you know? Yeah. You know, I made this um, because I missed the mountains. Really? I, uh, yeah, because I lived in, or well, somehow still live in, at least uh, in my head. I lived in <laughs> Belgium for 10 years, and, there, and the, yeah, the poverty of the landscape is really very saddening. And I was invited to do a show in, in northern Italy, mm -hmm. and the museum has these two, two enormous windows, and the mountains were like in the room, yeah. and the clouds, were, and yeah. then I thought, okay, this exhibition needs that, yeah. so I came up with this work. Is there anything about the relationships that you have with <coughs> other artists in the show, I mean, do you have relationships with other artists? Yeah, I mean, I, I work very closely with people like Abraham Cruz Villegas or Damian Ortega. I've known Daniel Guzman for a long time. I've known Thomas Glass for, for a very long time. Yeah. So with some of them, like Abraham and Damian, I keep a very, very close uh, communication. And with others, I have more sporadic dialogue. But, uh, you know, in a sense, it's also not, you know, this kind of dialogue in this exhibition is not something that that corresponds us, the artists, very much anymore. Yeah. Because the work is out there and there are people who put together exhibitions and formulate their own hypotheses. So of right. course, it's interesting and enriching for us to see you know, what they see. You know, it's really, I don't feel like I have to come here and start you know, drawing all these lines. And you know, it's, uh, it's, it's, I learned about my own work also by coming and seeing you know, what, what the organizers uh, saw themselves. Makes sense. Yeah. Oh, cool. Well, thank you for speaking you. with me today. We want to thank Gabrielle for speaking with us. For more information on the exhibition, go to themodern.org. That's it for Art This Week. Thanks for watching. And I, and I also like that. I mean, it's, it's, it, it's a landscape work. Yeah. So, you know, it being you next to it a landscape work. Oh yeah. yeah, it being next to the window is of course very important. Yeah. It changes a lot if you put it in the middle of a room. Yeah, absolutely. It becomes more meditative, kind of probably even, you know, probably f with, a, with a bit more of an Asian feeling, you mm -hmm. know, like a, right. more like a, you know, like a meditative garden or something. Mm -hmm. But next to the to the window, I yeah. think it's much, you know, more, more, more of a landscape work. I think it's nice also that it interrupts the walk space. I mean, mm. it's, it's more of it's an intervention choice, yeah. than... Good choice, yeah.